Okay, guys, you can see your PC ran into the problems and it's to be restarted. If your PC ran into the problem and it's to be restarted, and something like it's an error code, it's a stop code, it's unexpected kernel mode trap. So, if you guys are getting any kinds of error like this, you're going to follow the number of steps in this tutorial. One of the other steps will definitely help you. In case if it helps, you can share this video with your friends and family. Okay guys, you're going to type the command SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time, uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. Okay guys, go to the source and you're going to type I-N-E-S-T-A-L-L-E-D, installed apps. So here you have installed apps. Just keep a click on it. And this will open up uh, this space. Here you're going to look for antivirus. You can see the number of apps installed in this device. You're going to look for antivirus. Currently, I do not have an antivirus installed right over here. So you're going to search for antivirus. Yeah, you're going to select it and give a right click on it and just click on uninstall. So before you uninstall, make sure you have a backup. Sometime antivirus will not be causing the problem. Uh, in case, uh, in order to check if antivirus is causing the problem, we'll uninstall it. If you need it, if you had a backup, you can install it again. So I recommend you to keep the backup before uninstalling. So just uninstall the antivirus and check it out. So this is the way how you uninstall the antivirus. Here you will have all the installed programs. I do not have antivirus right now. So uninstall the antivirus and give a look if it fixes your issue. Okay guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So you can run this command even from X drive in advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see so everything is okay. And here it is. The boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay guys, this is another command you're gonna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So guys, you got, I got an uh, error 87. So some, spe uh, some spelling mistakes, there's no, uh, okay. Some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm going to press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're going to use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. So it's just going to take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also. If you cannot log in into your PC, so if you have a loop problem, you can run it from advanced mode, it's X drive. Just keep some time and it will be done. So if you do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's done with it 39-41%. So you can see 100% the operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it. And then I have to give a one restart to your computer. And then I have to check if the issue is fixed. Go to source and type update. Here you have check for updates. Click on it. 
or you're going to type check for updates straightly. So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is you can download and install the updates or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing and then after you can restart your PC. Don't forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix your issue. It's a, some, uh, you can see this one is completed manually. Just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install. You have to download and install manually and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix your issue. So open the search and you can search for the BIOS. You can see download the BIOS for HP Pavilion and DV6. So you can give the exact model number of your laptop. You know the model number of your laptop. You can check the model number of your laptop in a system information or you can get the model number of a laptop or service tag from the back of your PC. You have a service tag, you have a printed over there. It's a service tag model number. So you can just find the exact driver bias for the exact PC model number. If you uh, install unwanted, uh, try to install unwanted uh, BIOS, your system may be corrupted or damaged. So always uh, download the uh, uh, exact uh, BIOS driver for a P for your PC uh, uh, with a model number or a brand. You can see it's the uh, exact model number. It's like Pavilion DB6000. It's a uh, entertainment notebook. So you should find the exact driver for the exact model number and download and install it. If it is a Dell, you can type Dell. So depending upon the model number, if it is Dell G7, you can type Dell G7 and press enter key. This is official web and download the exact driver through service tag or if you know the model number, if you can recognize your PC through the model number in its official web, you can download the BIOS driver and install it. So click on any click on the link let me show you how to install just click on the link so always visit the official web to download the bios when you go to download the bios from the official web it may ask you for the service tag service tag you'll find at the back end of your system or maybe you find in the receipt you purchase your pc so enter the service tag to find the proper bios for your system randomly you may install the bios of a um, of a different uh, uh, brand or a model and that might not work. So always download the proper BIOS for your system. So enter the service tag over here and then click on search. It detects your product and then now click on submit. Once it detects your product, you can see it's a driver and download. You can see the urgent. You can see it was released on it's a BIOS 10 February 2020. So download it. You can see it is downloading. Now, before you install it, make sure your PC is well charged and your power cable is plugged in. So always plug in the power cable and make sure your PC is charged at least 20 to 30%. Do not unplug the power cable. Okay guys, you just give a right click on it and run as an administrator on the top. Otherwise, just uh, give a double click on it. It can ask you for the permission, click on yes. And you're gonna see this, you just have to click on update. So one more time, I would like to tell you, make sure your PC is 20, 10 to, uh, sorry guys, 20 to 30% charged and make sure your power cable is plugged in. And while updating, do not unplug the power cable and do not turn off the PC. Otherwise, your PC might uh, crash or something might go wrong. So, just before updating it, do not unplug the power cable. Make sure power cable is plugged in, 20 to 30% charged and never turn off the PC. So, while updating, your PC may go black for a while and it may restart. So, click on update now. So it will ask you for the restart. So you just have to restart your PC. 
you can see it is asking to restart just click on restart you can see it is restarting looks like some app is running so click on restart and so you can see system is all black and it is updating the firmware so it might take some time as 6% completed okay guys finally it's done and it is restarting and here we go okay guys we'll turn off the cpu overclocking this is an easy way go to the source and we're gonna type edit power plan so here you have options in a control panel to edit power plan here we'll click on change advanced power setting we'll come down and here you have a process uh, it's a processor power management click on this uh, plus icon you have a minimum processor state and maximum processor state so the minimum processor state is okay on battery 5% when plugged in it's a 5% Maximum processor state is on battery 100% and plugged in 100%. So we'll change it to 99%. Okay, and then we'll click on apply and then we'll click on OK. So don't, it's a very easy way. Now, what you can do, we we'll hold the Windows key and R in your keyboard. We'll type here appwiz.cpl and then we'll click on OK. So you're going to check down over here. So lots of unwanted program that you do not even use it. So all those programs that you do not use it in your uh, laptop, you can uninstall it. Just give a right click on it and uninstall it. So this was the easy way uh, you could uh, manage uh, the CPU overclocking. I hope this fix your issue. Create a system restore point or you're going to type as it is create a system restore point. You can follow these steps for Windows 10 and Windows 11. This you, you can restore the system. You can click on system restore, click on next and here you have a system restore point you have created. You can click on next and follow this wizard to restore the system to this particular state. Click on finish. Click on yes. Now my system will be restored at this particular point again so this is the procedure how do you create a system restore point and how do you again restore your system to that particular date so what you can do is uh, if you are really while working on daily basis on your pc you are doing different kinds of tasks and you are installing different types of applications what you can do is you can come to this wizard and you can create a restore point every day later on suppose any day we are getting any kinds of uh, uh, problem in your PC, you can still come one day back into your PC and you can access all your important files and you can start working. Or you can create a restore points on every week. So number every week if you create a restore point and you can give the date on a name so you can recognize it. So every day, uh, sorry, every week restore point will be there in your PC. So you can restore your PC again back to any state or any date later on. So you can see my system is being restored. So you can see it's going to take uh, some time and you have to just uh, walk around and come back. I've successfully restored and here it is. So even I have a message over here that system, system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to this particular point and 8, 19, 23 and even date. The document has not been affected. So none of the document has been affected.